All right, so this, we're going to try a little bit of crunch gain, combining these amps. Uh, yeah, so what I've got is I've got they're they're coming out of these, you know, they're busting out of auxes. So this first track here is I'll put this. That's the 800 into the slant cab with vintage 30 and greenbacks, and this is the Mark V into all vintage 30s. So, and I did test the tick tick, which is so weird because the other day the Marshall was going the opposite way. And to, oh, I know why. It, it's different when you go from the clean to the dirty. It's like the whatever the way Mark did it, the polarity's different. So there you go. So there, there, there they are. So the first track up here is 800 malted and Mark. Mark V melted. I'm gonna bypass that idea, and now we're gonna do 800 Mark V channel three. So this is now in, well, CG three, but you get it, channel three. This is now in. Uh, let's kill the, kill the rec, kill the Marshall. This is uh, in. Okay, so we're going to put them on together. I'm going to do a tick tick just to make sure they're still. Sometimes you change channels, you'd be surprised. Things can get wet. Back into slip mode. No, we're good. We good. All right. So now we're going to try this again. We've got them even, so the left side is 800 and Mark 5 in Mark 4 mode, channel 3. No, no pedals. I like this. I can already hear I like the way this is blending better. Double. Okay. Here we go. Sounds fine to me. That sounds cool with them all at oh, zero. You know, all the same volume. Here's the original one, which is uh, channel two in the Mesa. Yeah, it's too. Eh, but I, the channel two is useful, but I don't like blending it with the Marshall. Here's the Marshall in channel three. gonna be awesome man let's uh let's put a pedal on that let's put a pedal on that So let's try. We're going to try a couple of things here. Here's yellow side of King of Tone. Uh, what's it called? The, the, yeah, King of Tone. Right, King of Tone. King of Tone yellow. Yellow? 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 Yellow. Yellow, something like that. Okay, here we go. Woo! Man, that's nice. King of Tone, yellow. And 
double. Same thing. speed. <laughs> Let's shut that off. Now we got Greer light speed. There's the light speed. All right, light speed. that light speed light speed Just pause these for a second. We're gonna take the old fuzz off of this. We'll take the old fuzz off of this. I keep wanting to be that kind of guy that uses fuzz, and I keep not being that guy that uses fuzz. Can anybody relate? Can I get a witness? We're putting on a Maxon, an old green 808. Nothing super special, just uh, what it is. Sometimes it's really nice though, man. Yeah, I've got the yellow STD or S <laughs> SD1, not S Oh no, he's got the yellow, he's got the STD. Yellow. <laughs> okay, take it back. I don't have that. But check it out. I have the yellow one. Man, that's just too 80s, man. I mean, I'm already 80s. I'm already from that era, so it's like, yeah, the less the better, right? Let's make sure we still have drums on there. We do. Okay, <laughs> we'll go right here. We'll go. 808. And when I say 808, everybody goes doom. With the 808. Isn't that from like a back or something? So let's see. We turn back on 800 and Mark 5 in Mark 4 mode. And now we put on. Here. Ah. 808. No, that's kind of chewy. We're going to try one more. Stay with me. Well, we'll, two, we'll do two more. Get the 808 off. <laughs> Get the, the STD in there. Super Overdrive SD1. Yay. Boy, this was the, the pedal of the 80s. Man. I remember the first time I went on the road, I was like, all these big famous guitar players all have the same crap on their board. Like, I thought, like, for some reason, like, famous guys would be using all custom-built stuff. And you see, they all had... 
remember I think John Butcher Axis? No, the band Axe. I was love that band. That dude had a had a uh, whatever he had. He had a, a graphic EQ. It was like literally on like a little thing on his side of his Marshall stack. Like he had a little rack for it, or like a little holder. It was right there. Okay, so now we're gonna go back, and now we're gonna do. Uh, Too much. Well, I'll do it, but I don't like this SD1. play the song. He forgets how to play the song. Ugh, that was a mess. Let me shut that off. Now we're going to try one more. And this is it. Still got drums. It's a little. Uh, we're gonna do King of Tone Red, Red Side. Wow. I like that boy. Red Side. so long now I can't remember how to do it last set best set king of tone So that's a Mod 800, Mark 5 in Mark 4 mode. And here we go. We're going to check it out. So here it is straight. That's, that's that other. Yeah, that's channel 2. That's just terrible. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Sorry about that. Yeah, that, that's Clash of the Titans. Channel 2 is great, but not blended with a Marshall. Here we go. So here's channel, uh, yeah. So it's 800 is the top. And, and then uh, then there's just stereo left and right, the same thing on both sides. So <laughs> a tone yellow. Rear light speed. Eight oh eight. I like that. ST one. Scoopy, really noisy. Uh, maybe I just need to. I all I set them all around the same kind of everybody at noon with gain up just a hair or about you know volume up a little bit. Nothing crazy. SD one again. I gotta 
play tighter. And here's King of Tone Red Side. <laughs> Yeah, more organized. I, the SD1 is cool, it's hollow, but it is just a messy mess. Turn the uh, Mark V down a hair. Uh, 808. That's just like money. King of Tone Red. Lower gain. I could probably crank the gain more, but I don't, that's really for what I, yeah, I don't usually have to. Here's no pedal. Not enough gain. I don't, I don't know. You know, for that kind of grindy part, like I played King of Tone Yellow. That just sounds expensive to my ear. I don't know why. There's something about that. It's very 3D and that's great. Light speed. Much for this. I. It's not like not enough compression. And it's too transparent. Like it, I don't know. It's I don't know. I, I, I the light speed I like more on cleaner and middle gain stuff. 808. It's awesome. Yellow King of Tone. Yeah, those are similar, but the King of Tone has a little different voicing. SD1. That's too metal. It's too too much. Not for not not for what I do. King of Tone Red. King of Tone Yellow. I could could fire up more gain on those. 808. For this, I think I, I like the 808 probably the best, to be honest with you. As long as we're all being honest. 808. King of Tone Yellow. More mid-range than the 808. The 808 is definitely more hollowed out. 808. King of Tone Yellow. King of Tone Red. That satisfies the 16 year old in me. <laughs> Oh, like I don't know, like Randy Rhodesy thing or something. 808. King of Tone Yellow. The King of Tone Yellow sounds great. It sounds expensive. It's it sounds I don't know. They're both that and the and the 808 have a little bit of that. They hollow out the mids, which is kind of nice in a different way. King of Tone Yellow. Yeah, I, li I, li 
I like the King of Tone Yellow. I think the, I mean that's the one I've been using uh, the the last like three months or four months of sessions. It's on everything. Um, that and the and the light speed, but I don't like the light speed for this kind of thing. It's too rambunctious. Not enough compression. Just look at the waveforms. There's the light speed. There's the 808. You can see the chop. You can see the chop of the waveform. I like the sound of the chop of the waveform. Here's the Greer. It's too bright and it's too rambunctious. So last time, here we go. Uh, 808. 808. And yellow, king of tone. Yeah, it's a little quackier. It depends on what you like. So what do you guys think? One more time, here's King of Tone Red. It's amazing as I've gotten older, and it could also be a little bit of being here in Nashville. Um, and just, I don't know, just less, I, less gain. I've gone with less gain. I hear these guys with the demos of the stuff and they've, it's all just like more gain on tap. Like that's not, I, 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 that never happens anymore for me. So, you know, if I, I guess it's just, I don't have that. I don't have those opportunities. I don't do, you know, I'm, I'm doing mostly kids pop, pop country, and, you know, pop rock stuff and alternative you know people that are into like Adele and Lady Gaga and Maroon 5 and you know Katy Perry and you know Carrie Underwood this, this girl I'm working on she's really into Lainey Wilson you know that's it's too heavy so but a little crunch is nice that's why this yellow has really been useful this is that king of tone yellow <laughs> Nice on lower gain stuff too, you know, like just a little, er, er, it adds a little bit of girk to it. Well, there you go. Peace out. What do you think? What do you think? Everybody wants to know what you think.